Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you are new here. I apologize for not posting in a while, a lot of life stuff happened and I have not had the energy to make videos recently, but I am getting better and I will hopefully be able to do things more regularly soon. In today's video we're going to be talking about a new feature, I believe, which is folders in Abyss Paint. These work pretty much the same as the folders in Medibang, which I think is really good since my drawings in Abyss tend to get a lot of layers, so fo folders would be very, very useful. For example, having a folder for all colors, having a folder for all the clipping things with line art, or just a folder for all the background things. And here's how to use them. So first with folders, essentially what they are is just a way to group lots of layers into one thing. You can close folders and then you won't see all the layers all the time and it just makes things a lot more tidy. So we have a bunch of scribbles here on three separate layers and what we're going to want to do is click add special layer down here and we're going to click add folder. Now with this you can see there is a folder layer right there. To get things in your folder you simply put them above and then get them to go underneath and you will see they move a little bit back so they are now in the folder. And then if you move things in between those they will be in the folder too. These are super useful because if you want to make all the layers invisible you can just make the folder invisible. You can close the folder by tapping it so that these are all compacted and then you can move all these layers around easily. You can also name folders by going into the settings here and clicking rename folder. I think you can add as many layers to a folder as you want and just yeah I think it's a super duper useful feature. You can also change the overall opacity of all the layers in the folder like this and I'm pretty sure you can have a good few folders. I would recommend doing these for things like shading or for coloring or for certain textures or like if you if you're like me you will like to do a lot of details and things like eyes so just having all the detailed layers in a folder would be really really useful. You can also change the overall blend mode of a folder which I think is really really neat because I like having funky blend modes on a lot of my layers. You can also flip the entirety of a folder's layers in both ways. And you can transform an entire folder too. There's just a lot that you can do with folders. If you want to take things out of the folder, you just move them above the folder and they will then be out of it. And if you want to delete a folder, just go on it and click the delete button like you normally would. That was how to use folders. I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Thank you for watching. Bye!